Hi guys, welcome to Lux Report on YouTube. Have some pretty crazy news for you today, and pretty mind-boggling. Just when you thought the luxury watch world couldn't get any more crazy, after that Philips auction for the Tiffany Co. Blue Dial that went for 6.5 million US dollars, it gets worse. Check this out. On eBay right now in the UK, there's a Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5167A khaki green strap available. Rubber strap for your 5167A. But £8,000. <laughs> Eight grand for a rubber strap. A piece of rubber for eight grand. Just because it's in khaki green. Try and get a black one? Sure, no problem. Wouldn't cost you anywhere near the, uh, that kind of price. But the khaki green, £8,000. And this, you might think, is a one-off. You might think, ah, oh, the guy, the seller, he's just trying to, you know, trying to see what he can get, try and see if there's anyone desperate that will, um, will pay that kind of money. But really, that's how much they're going for if you're able to find one. And he, right now, he is the only seller selling a 5167A rubber strap in khaki green. Can't find him anywhere. I've looked. And so if you really, really want one, you have to stump up the cash. And the reason why they're so limited in supply is because from my research, apparently, Patek sold a tiny number of all Kharki's 5167As many years ago. And for some time, you could get a replacement Kharki strap from Patek, but not anymore. Uh, back in the day, if your strap wore out, you could possibly get a new one. Either way, not owning a khaki 5167A, you would not be able to buy that strap. You had to apparently go into Patek dealership, give them your khaki 5167A, and then they would cut and fit to your watch and you could and they would let you go out of the store they wouldn't let you just walk into the store place an order maybe pre-order um and let you walk out with a sealed uncut unopened strap which could be possibly sold on for profit it got that bad you think that it got so bad that they're not allowing you just to buy a strap and walk out the store without having to prove that you actually own the watch. Pretty crazy, right? So now, because of such limited supply and apparently such demand, these khaki green straps are going for crazy money. Who thought of um, investing? You could invest in rubber Patek Philippe uh, straps. Don't put your money in the stock market. Put your money in rubber straps. And some people online have says, well, you could try to fit a 5168 khaki green strap. But unfortunately, can't. Won't fit. Doesn't fit. Um, doesn't work. So you have no choice. But even the 5168, they're going for 1,200 British pounds. Ah, for a green rubber strap. Pretty crazy. But hey, it's not £8,000, right? But um, yeah, just because it's khaki green. And I guess same with the um, Tiffany & Co. It's Tiffany & Co. blue. <laughs> so $6.5 million. Yeah, I, I don't get it. Well, I do get it, but I also don't get it. <laughs> um... Yeah. So, um, and just to put this in more sense, and how crazy this is, £8,000. What could you get for £8,000? 
you could buy a Rolex Submariner. Yeah, that's right. Used market. You can find them in Australia, Japan, United States, pretty much everywhere. You could buy a nice used Rolex Submariner for seven, eight thousand pound. The same price as one of these khaki green Patek rubber straps. Absolutely mind boggling. <laughs> and if you're willing to spend that kind of cash on a piece of rubber, then I feel that maybe you have too much money to burn. But um, each to the, each to their own, I suppose. Uh, yeah, what do you think about that? Is this going to continue? Is the chaos going to continue? What do you see the foresee foreseeable future for the luxury watch market? Will you be investing in Patek Philippe rubber straps? Maybe even their leather straps? Will their prices go through the roof because of um, limited supply? Let me know your feelings and thoughts in the comment section below. Um, please subscribe to Lux Report. Click on the little bell icon. Click on receive all notifications and we will keep you updated on all the latest happenings in the watch world. 5,150,000. You really walk out? What do you go and do? You go for breakfast? <laughs> At Tiffany's? <laughs> 4 million three, Marcello was louder and faster. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ladies, from the TCA department in watches, we do real bidding. Four million three, Marcello. But if you whisper four million four, I'll take it. Four million four for Clara Kessi. Four million five standing. Don't leave, sir. It's not over yet. Okay, okay, okay. Four million five, the gentleman standing. Standing in the room, four million five. He's winning bidder at five million. One hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> Five million two hundred thousand in Miami. A brand new paddle going up, ladies and gentlemen, online. Can we delay the remaining 80 lots to tomorrow? I need to recover from that. <laughs> Five million two. See? Five million three hundred and fifty thousand. Selling online to my New York bidder. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Five million three hundred and fifty thousand. New York has it. Paddle nine, two, five, two.